Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is the Donay Formula 100 Hexacore racket review. Donay is aiming to be one of the arm friendliest racket companies on the market. So each update to their lines, the RA, which is the stiffness rating, is going down. Uh, with this update of their pure drive inspired racket called Formula, uh, they have a stiffness in the high 50s strong. How does it play? I mean, I was a bit skeptical in the beginning towards this racket because a pure drive beam uh, with a, such a low RA would be a bit like a sponge. I was positively surprised by the, this Donay racket. I have a few Donays that I'm, I'm reviewing at the moment and this one is really the one so far of their entire lineup that impressed me the most. So the formula is basically a pure drive, thick beam, similar beam width. It has gone from an RA rating of 69 in 2012, uh, which was reviewed positively by Tennis Warehouse, and now it's down to 57 with the Hexacore edition. And Hexacore means that they now, instead of the Pentacore, which was the predecessor, have six cores. So it's like uh, there's a lot of padding inside the racket to limit shock. They want to mimic the feeling of playing with a wood racket but in a new graphite frame. And in some rackets they really do mimic that feeling. This one feels more balanced than some of the other Donay rackets I've tried, which is a good thing. I was really impressed by how balanced it is and how nice it feels. Obviously the risk when you're aiming to reduce stiffness as much as Donay is trying to do is that the racket becomes anemic doesn't give you any extra power, that's the whole point of a 100 square inch pure drive inspired racket. But this one plays more like a stiffness, maybe around 62 or 3, which lands it in the Babolat soft dry territory, which you know is one of my favorite frames of all time. Um, especially a 100 square inch racket, that's a, that's a brilliant one. Uh, obviously it's almost impossible to find, so I think you need to think about this one, then this one is a good option, very much in the same wheelhouse when it comes to feel as the soft drive in this Hexacore racket. But if we look at the specs of the Donay Formula 100 Hexacore, it's very pure drive inspired as you can see, it's 100 square inches, 300 grams, 32 centimeter balance, not so headlight in strong form which is good so you get a bit more uh, stability in the frame. Stiffness rating 57, they recommend the string tension to be strung quite low because it is a low powered racket. I think that's generally a good idea with poly strings uh, and this one is not as, as powerful as a pure drive so I think stringing low is not a bad idea. I got mine strung with MSV Focus Hex Ultra which is a string I've reviewed last year and that I really like. It's a nice poly, good snapback, get some good spin and it's quite arm friendly as well. I did play this racket in stock form at first, played really well, uh, quite stable for its um, RA rating that was very surprising to me. But I did add some lead tape which I do also with my soft drives, uh, I did add lead tape at 12 o'clock to increase the swing weight and increase the stability of the frame and also bump up the power a bit because the power is not really pure drive but it is more controlled so for a player uh, that is used to control rackets I think this is a good thing uh, but if you really want that extra power of, of an extreme pro that I reviewed just recently or a pure arrow uh, I think this racket might feel a bit low power to you so that's good to keep in mind but if you like a bit more controlled version of a pure arrow and you want to save your arm I think this one can be an excellent choice one of the best on the market what also is good with Donay is that they have this heavier 10 gram plus butt cap uh, that you can order from them. Uh, makes the racket more headlight, increases the weight a bit. Uh, I did try that as well, so I added the 10 gram butt cap. I had like 3-4 grams of lead tape at 12 o'clock and it played brilliantly for me. I really enjoyed this setup. I enjoyed the string as well, around 23-22 kilos. It's perfect for this string in, in this racket. It's not the same power as a pure drive as I said, but very forgiving, it's easy to swing. I felt like I could hit flatter with more control than I do from the bubble up power rackets. So I was really impressed by this stick, I've heard others as well, other play testers and, and players uh, really happy with this racket and, and all of them were surprised. I mean Donay is not a big name brand in tennis anymore, they do a focus a lot on the arm friendliness and sometimes I think they, they might go too far and you get a bit of a, 
A spongy response from the string bed, uh, you get not enough free power, but this one is uh, just perfect for me. So it's not packed with power, but good power, good control, decent spin, hits a bit more control than flatter shots, it's not a super spin racket like the Extreme Pro, uh, and it's not this fantastic serve weapon that the Pure Drive is, but it's very easy to play with, just pick it up and, and uh, you can play good tennis with this racket. It's open for some customization, you get some free spin, uh, but it's, it's just a bit more controlled than those other options, which I personally really appreciate. Might not be your cup of tea, but if you want to save your arm and get a bit more control from a 100 square inch racket, this one is one of the best I've played in a few years even. So I really felt like the string bed was quite responsive, which I didn't feel with all Donay rackets I've tested. I really felt in control of the racket. I could flatten out the winner. I could hit with some good spin as well. It worked well for both maybe a more traditional game style and a more modern game style, which I really appreciated. It's not a knife on the slice by any means, but you could hit some low skidding slices with the proper technique. So I think that was also very good. So surprisingly impressed by this racket. I liked it on pretty much every shot. I've tested quite a few Donay sticks, as I said before. I do appreciate their focus on arm friendliness, but sometimes they take it too far. The string bed gets a bit mushy. Uh, it's hard to generate enough power to be effective on the court and to hit winners. This one was a good blend, control, spin and power. I would not hesitate to take this racket into a tournament. Reminds me of my soft drives from Babolat, the old school frames I, I use sometimes. And that is high praise indeed. So if you're looking for an arm friendly, forgiving 100 square inch racket that still offers some free power and spin, I think this one you should definitely check out. Compares quite well to the Wilson Clash that I raved about recently. It has a slightly lower launch angle, so the spin is not as for free as with the Clash. They're quite similar in comfort, so if, you, if comfort is the thing, this would be a tight race. And power level is quite close as well, the Clash is a bit more powerful, I think. And a bit more spin friendly, but the control aspect of this racket I, I liked a bit more than the Clash. So I think it would be a, a tight Clash between these two rackets. Two new frames that offer a good comfortable response for a wide group of players. So I think that's really nice to see more frames coming in with lower RA ratings. They still offer some good spin and power. It shows that you can actually create a modern frame that is still not gonna hurt most players using it. Kudos and thumbs up to Donay and also Wilson for their Clash line rackets. I think this is a step in the right direction. I hope other companies try to follow suit. And I think it's it's much better that rackets are going this way than they're becoming stiffer and stiffer and stiffer and we see more juniors and veterans and whatever with um, arm issues. One thing I wanted to point out is that I've heard from others and experienced a little bit that some uh, Donay rackets, uh, the general quality of the products uh, is lacking in some respects. You know, I've uh, had friends with that buy a new frame and they get like a loose butt cap. That there is like something to be desired when it comes to the manufacturing and quality control from Donay. This was not the case with my Formula 100 Hexacore, but the quality of the grommets and some of that stuff does feel a bit less good than Wilson. You know, playable and, and fine, and I, I didn't mind it with my Formula 100 Hexacore, but that's what I've heard, and that's good to keep in mind uh, when you order a few frames. And I've also heard that if you order them from the, straight from the US, there have been people with issues from actually ordering stuff directly from Donay. I've been getting my rackets from uh, Racket One in Norway. They've been uh, of great service and, and shipped to Malta. Really happy with them. They're really nice guys there. That's been a good thing, but good to keep in mind is that the quality uh, might be lacking in some respects when it comes to the Donay sticks. So this one, the Donay Formula 100 Hexacore, is the best racket, best Donay racket racket I've tested so far. It's really one of the better rackets I've tested of all last year. So uh, this one was really took me by surprise. Really happy to play with this frame. Uh, really nice feeling stick. I really recommend it if you're into 100 square inch rackets with a bit more arm friendly and controlled response. More reviews to come from Tennis Nerd as always. Uh, I hope to get rid of my cold first because uh, I sound even worse than usual. But thank you guys and girls for following and for sharing the content. Really appreciate every comment and response and it's a nice little club of tennis nerds we have going here.
So I wish you all the best in the new year and I uh, hope to talk and see you soon. That's good. Again. Yeah.